Imagine a vast field of canola plants swaying gently in the wind, their bright yellow flowers creating a picturesque scene. This image captures the essence of the agricultural heartland where farmers toil to grow crops that serve as the building blocks of our food supply. But beneath this idyllic surface lies a legal battle that would shake the agricultural world to its core. Enter the Monsanto Company v. Percy Schmeiser case, a landmark lawsuit that brought into focus the complexities and controversies surrounding genetically modified organisms, GMOs. The story begins with Percy Schmeiser, a farmer from Bruno, Saskatchewan, Canada. Percy was a diligent and respected member of his community, known for his commitment to farming practices that had been passed down through generations. He had devoted his life to nurturing his crops and providing for his family. However, his world would soon collide with that of the multinational agricultural corporation Monsanto. Monsanto, founded in 1901, had become a titan in the field of agriculture. The company specialized in the production of genetically engineered seeds, including a strain of canola called Roundup Ready. These seeds were genetically modified to be resistant to the herbicide Roundup, enabling farmers to spray their fields with the chemical and eliminate weeds without harming their crops. It was a revolutionary technology that promised increased yields and cost savings for farmers, but it also came with controversy. In 1997, Percy Schmeiser discovered something unusual in his canola fields. Some of the plants exhibited herbicide resistance, showing traits identical to Monsanto's Roundup Ready canola. Surprised by this, Percy realized that his fields had been inadvertently contaminated by Monsanto's genetically modified seeds, likely through cross-pollination or seed drift. Despite his innocence in the matter, Monsanto accused Percy of planting their patented seeds without a license and filed a lawsuit against him. The legal battle between Percy Schmeiser and Monsanto captivated the world. It pitted a small rural farmer against a corporate behemoth, raising questions about corporate power, intellectual property rights, and the environmental impact of GMOs. The court proceedings were closely watched by farmers, activists, and legal experts alike as the outcome had the potential to shape the future of agriculture. In 2001, the case reached the Supreme Court of Canada. The central question before the court was whether Percy Schmeiser had intentionally planted Monsanto's patented seeds without a license, or if he had unknowingly acquired them through contamination. The burden of proof fell on Percy, who had to demonstrate that the presence of Monsanto's genetically modified plants in his fields was purely accidental. The court's ruling was a pivotal moment in the case, determining the future course of the agricultural industry. The judges concluded that even though Percy Schmeiser did not intentionally plant Monsanto's seeds, he still benefited from their presence in his fields. As a result, they held him accountable for patent infringement. This decision sparked heated debates worldwide, with passionate arguments on both sides of the GMO divide. While Percy Schmeiser lost the legal battle, his case galvanized a movement. Farmers, activists, and concerned citizens rallied behind him, seeing the verdict as an injustice and a threat to the rights of small farmers. The case brought significant attention to the issue of genetic contamination and the potential dangers of GMOs, fueling ongoing discussions about the need for stricter regulations and greater transparency in the agricultural industry. The Monsanto Company versus Percy Schmeiser lawsuit had far-reaching consequences that extended beyond the courtroom. It amplified the ongoing dialogue surrounding genetically modified crops, highlighting the ethical, environmental, and legal challenges associated with their use. The case prompted many countries to reevaluate their policies on GMOs, with some implementing strict measures to protect farmers and consumers. Today, the debate over GMOs continues to evolve, with heated discussions on their benefits, risks, and long-term effects. The Monsanto Company v. Percy Schmeiser case serves as a reminder of the power dynamics at play in the agricultural industry and the importance of ensuring a fair and equitable system for farmers of all sizes. It is a story of resilience, perseverance, and the pursuit of justice in an ever-changing world.